April 1st, baby. Best Ascension here with that 2011 sound. Told you we were switching up our genres and shit. We do it all, baby. We do it all. This song is dedicated to my man, my hero, AC Slater, the first true badass. Breaking all the rules, baby. Never take your shit from that preppy Zach Morris. Sitting backwards in chairs. Always sitting backwards in chairs. They weren't made to be used that way. Who does that? This man inspired me. It's for you, baby. It's your time to shine. Yeah, and here it goes. My name's JG, but you can call me Mr. Sniggles. And I made this song to help out dudes hung like their diggles. Even though I'm white, you don't have to question my ability. Black guy in my video provides the needed credibility. The story all starts back in 81. I exploded to this world into a rising sun. I came up in life acquiring the finest things. I got an iPhone and a fat car with some shiny bling. But as I got older and my body grew stronger, then my mind took over and my penis got longer. Then I was faced with a problem guys like me have. If you got a big ol' schlong, you know this makes you mad. Ah, oh yes I did. Ended up with a big ol' dick. And now it hits the bowl when I take a shit. Now things like this aren't a problem for Justin Bieber. We all know he's got a pussy and I heard that he's a creeper. But for me this shit's real and I've struggled with it for years. And due to my hypochondria, touching the bowl's my biggest fear. So after feeling like I'd always be stuck in this living hell, one day salvation came in the form of Saved by the Bell. AC Slater entered the scene with his trademark curly hair. And all it took was for him to reach over and flip around that chair. And with that inspiration it, my brain had just clicked. I finally found a way to keep the bowl from touching my dick. First time in years I can remember feeling glad. AC Slater, my second dad. Oh, yes, I did. Thought of a way to keep a clean dick. I just had to test it out by taking a shit. So, a brown brown happened to be screaming for release, and I sprung up off the bed into the bathroom. I leaped, but instead of flipping around 180 degrees, I just moved on forward and then I bent my knees. Well, it just so happened to be properly proportioned, and I cried out screams of joy as my penis stayed off the porcelain. Are there other benefits? Oh, yes, there's a bunch. You can check your email, take a nap, and eat your lunch. From that moment on, things were never the same. I knew I was destined to share this message by achieving YouTube fame. When an angel talks to you, you just agree and nod. A.C. Slater, my personal god. Oh, yes I did. Looking A.C. Slater style shit. And now my penis finally fits. So after all of this, I thought I was smarter. Until the day came, I faced the toilet with the highest water. I plopped on down, but this time I dropped anchor. Started wondering what the pros and cons of shitting in the tank were. And on that day, a new style was born. Reverse A.C. Slater, upper decker became the norm. So before we hit the chorus, there's a man I'd like to thank. A.C. Slater, king of the tank. Oh, oh yes I did. Don't go backwards shit in your toilet's tank. And goddamn that shit was tank. So you probably think that this is where the story ends. But I'm always pushing envelopes and breaking trends. I knew these new methods were just the start. And I could take it even further if I just put in more heart. But years of deep thinking just left me in tears. It just seemed like my brain was fresh out of ideas. But then I got a gift from this crazy country bumpkin. Reverse AC Slater. Upper Decker Blumpkin. Oh, yes I did. Had a blumpkin on the tank. Facing backwards and AC to the bank. Well, that's the story of how my hero AC Slater inspired me to do great things in my life. Shout out to all my other bros taking their daily Slaters. Jake Bowen from Periphery doesn't even wipe his ass after he slaves. Likes his butt all like there's stalactites and stalagmites up in there. Like he's got stale brownies in his underwear and shit, man. It's gross. My man Mark Holcomb? I don't even know, dude. Haunted shores? That shit's more like haunted drawers. He just fucking shits everywhere. Alex rooting her from the threat signal? You better believe the threat signal coming from that ass is that full alert. This guy does like cartwheels and shit when he takes a slater. It's like pirouettes and axles and just Oksana Bayul type shit. My boy Greg Pearl Rudick, he does like handstands and shit when he slaters. Just like all over himself. Then you have Casey Sable. He's so scared of touching a toilet, that motherfucker AC Slater's in his kitchen sink. I mean, who does that? I don't even know, man. I, don't know. I, just, I give up trying to figure it out. Best Ascension 2011, baby. Come and take all your money and bitches.